This is Junior Roberts from realjuniorroberts.com. In this video, we'll be looking at the types of circuit boards used in electronics. So stay tuned. Okay, so in building electronic circuits, there are several types of boards which we'll use in order to implement, test, and modify that circuit. Right. The very basic one is a breadboard, which looks something like this. Then there's also a perforated board, which looks something like this. And then we have a printed circuit board, which will look something like this. Right. So we'll start by talking about uh, the breadboard. Now, a breadboard allows for easy uh, connecting of connection of circuits. Right. So we can just simply uh, connect our circuit components like this. Right, and then if you want to change them around, we can just change them around like that, right? Now, but in order to use a breadboard, we need to understand how the the holes are connected, right? So on this particular breadboard, all the lines going down like this, which is closer to the blue line here, is connected. Likewise, all these close to the red line is connected as well, and are similar on this side. Now these are our power lines or our power rails because we can actually uh, connect positive and negative wires from our, our uh, power source, right? And then these are our lines for actually building the circuit, right? So the line, all the lines here are connected. So these lines are connected in parallel all the way across, right? And there's actually a break here. So the, this row here and this row will not be connected because of the break here right and that is useful when we want to build a circuit containing integrated circuits right we would want to have the lines here connected so we'll just uh, straddle the ic across the middle rack like that right so that's some of the basics when using our breadboards as soon as we begin to construct some circuits on breadboard we will become more familiarized with using a breadboard all right so the next type of circuit board we look look at is a perforated board which looks like this this also offers um easy uh input of various components and moving them around and that kind of thing but the interesting thing is that uh when we make circuit circuits on this type of board it is usually soldered together right so we don't really have the opportunity to uh, pull out the circuit components that easily it would usually take um, a bit of desoldering to get out the, the components right and so we have some holes on, on this side here and on the other uh, underside there is also some holes on but it is uh, covered with uh, bits of copper to facilitate uh, the soldering process right so this is a circuit that actually constructed using a, a piece of a perforated board. So as you can see, you know, there was some amount of soldering to actually get the, the components connected together in the circuit, right? So again, when we begin to make additional circuits using the perforated board, we'll get um, familiarize ourselves with using this type of board. And <laughs> Next one which we look look at is a printed circuit board which looks like this. Now a printed circuit board um, is used for specific circuits, right? Because uh, we'll have to uh, take it over to uh, uh, a computerized software for us to make the, the printed circuit board. So once we make a printed circuit board, it can only be used for that particular circuit, right? So unlike the breadboard or the perforated board this is um a much more fixed type of circuit board so this is one that i actually um, made while i was doing a project right and this is a printed circuit board which actually came from a factory so as it is i can see um the components are already laid out right so we have a couple transistors here a trans uh, capacitor here and uh, some other components uh, there is a, a a socket or the footprint for an integrated circuit so as i said a printed circuit board um, is specific to the type of circuit i'm um, being constructed but unlike the perforated board or the 
uh, breadboard, uh, it is not fixed to a particular type of circuit, right? So those are three of the, the basic uh, circuit boards which are used in electronics. So if there was anything in this video that you wish to get further clarification on, feel free to send me an email to junior at realjuniorroberts.com or simply post it in the comments below and I will be sure to get around to, uh, to respond to your questions. Also, if you like these types of video, uh, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel and visit my blog over at realjuniorroberts.com. Thank you for watching.